What's up guys, welcome back to 25 Feet High Outdoors. Wanted to do a quick little uh, product review today. So this is just gonna be, it's gonna be pretty quick. But one thing I wanted to mention first is, number one, before season comes in, in these last, like, I think there's, when this goes up, there's gonna be like nine days till deer season here in South Alabama. So until then, we've got a couple videos. We're doing like product reviews, we're doing some scouting, stuff like that. I'm just letting you know, you guys know this is what we're doing right now we're messing with gear we're messing with cameras we're getting ready we're scouting so just letting you guys know we want to show you what we're doing but it'll, it'll come to an end soon and we'll be chasing the whitetails and whatever else we can get into here before too much longer but uh, the other thing I wanted to mention so this is a product a little sneak peek of the product but before I get that I want to show you something all right guys if you've been watching the channel uh, for a while you, sh you probably know that I use these wild edge steps. I love these things. They are the absolute, I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. They don't, they haven't helped me out even with a discount or anything, but they are good, they are good folks over there. So I just want you guys to know this is not sponsored or anything, but I love my wild edge steps. I don't think for the money you can get a safer, more reliable and lighter uh, climbing system than wild edge steps and an aider. But there's one, th one thing that I didn't really like, they kind of cling, they're made of steel, so they're stronger, but they have a little bit more noise than aluminum when they cling together. So I just wrap mine up with stealth strips. And if you're wondering, if you want to do something like this, you can do this amount of stealth stripping on your wild edge steps with on four steps with one of the rolls. So I don't know, I probably should have gotten two rolls because I've got some other stuff I want to stealth strip. Uh, or I, there may be something else, a different option like the sheets or something that would cover up more, I don't know. Just letting you know, one roll is good for four wild edge steps and not full coverage, but good enough. And these th this silt strip stuff works great. It quite really quiets down the steps. So like instead of a thud, like that's hitting the metal off of the strip. Like when you hit the strip, you can't hardly hear anything. They work pretty great. But now let's get into what I really what this video is really about. All right, guys. So this little beautiful little piece of plastic right here, this is what is called the Gripper. It is a new product from Genesis 3D Printing. It's a 3D printed, uh, basically a quiver. It's very similar to an arrow quiver, but seems to be a lot more sturdy. And it's made to fit these wild edge steps. And as you can see, my top step. I had already wrapped it in paracord, so it didn't really matter for me that it that I kind of ran out of the stealth, stealth strips before. But uh, I wanted to do a quick review of these of this uh, of this thing. So before I got that, I was using this, which is the stock Wild Edge bag, and it's a super nice little bag. It uh, it's got like leather or something to stop from to stop the standoffs from like running through the bag, and it's got a little thing in the. It's very well made and it slings over your shoulder. But I wanted to kind of shrink my setup and make it more compact and make it a little bit easier to use. And basically I've been racking my brain all summer trying to figure out what would be the best thing to do. And right before my deer season come in, Genesis 3D printing, they came out with this. And it's just, so far, I don't have a ton of experience in the woods with this thing, but so far it seems like it's gonna be the solution for what I want. So. If you look on the back, just to show you some of the like features, I guess, obviously it holds five steps. And if you use more, you can just get another one. If, I mean, just looking at it, this seems a little bit more compact than just a bag. Plus, you can hang it off your backpack or off your saddle so it's not like hanging off your shoulder or off to one side or something, which I never was really a fan of. It keeps it all nice and tight and everything. And then one thing real quick, when you pop it out, like if you're not really paying attention, you can make a little bit of noise, but for the most part, this thing's pretty quiet. It's just as quiet, about the same amount of, amount quiet as the uh, the bag. So that was me pushing and not even trying. If I actually like sat there and finessed it a little bit, you wouldn't even hear it like snap in. So that's pretty sweet. The other thing is, so where the way I have them oriented now. There's like a clip up here, and you can clip that into Molly's Molly loops, and uh, or anything that you can clip it clip it into. I'll show you how I set it up here in just a second. And then on the bottom, it's got this circle thing, 
And what's really cool is Genesis actually makes a, another product that is called a Versa hanger. And that Versa hanger clips into this, uh, this round piece and it can hang, it's got another clip on that, but it clips into this so you can take it all on and off easier basically. And that's one thing, the last piece of my puzzle for me to like really com make my system really compact and nice and tight and like efficient, I guess, is I wanna get that Versa hanger and what I'll do with it is I'll hang it off of the side of my saddle. And that way when I get to the tree, I can hang this whole system off, off of my hip and it's really easy to reach, really easy to get to. And, but I can keep it out of the way when I'm get going in and out of the woods on my pack. So that's going to be something that's going to be really crucial to my system. I mean, I, so far I've really liked these things. Like when, when you put these in there, they're in there. Like you can't, you can't shake them out. I mean, it, it's solid, it's lightweight, it's super compact as you can see. And then, and that with that, the, the two options for hanging it, like that just, it's just a little, adds to how great this thing is. So as for how I set it up in my pack, this is pretty much it. I decided to leave the ropes out so you can really see. So I've got two straps on this Badlands Pursuit, I think is what it's called. And the bottom strap just goes around the bottom, kind of keeps everything concise. And the top strap goes through this this loop right here, or this, this little, uh, channel hook thing it's made for molly loops this is a little bit too loose for this but it works great and that's pretty much how i set it up and like i say since you pull the uh you pull the steps out from the bottom up i'm thinking if i leave it like this and get that versa hanger on my on the side of my saddle it'll be really easy to pop these steps out one at a time on my way up the tree and when I'm, as I, as I said, when I'm walking in and out of the woods, it can sit right here and be out of the way, be uh, centered, have all the weight centered on my back. It'll reduce fatigue walking in and everything. And then what I do with my ropes, I've seen a lot of different things for this, but I'll just put mine, I'll make, I'll fix mine up how I do it and show you guys. So basically all I do with my ropes is I have this really small front pouch in this backpack and I just shove my ropes in there. And it seems like kind of a mess, but the way these ropes are and everything, you can just you can unzip this a little bit and then just pull them out and let them dangle, and they're going to be out of your way. They're not; they shouldn't be tangled up. And if they are tangled up, these ropes are pretty easy to untangle. So that's pretty much how I have it set up. And like I said, that Versa hanger is going to come in clutch as well with this system. Uh, whenever I get, whenever I decide to get that. So I just wanted to show you guys a really awesome product that's gonna help me out the, in saddle hunting. And also, if any of you guys are looking for a better system to carry around your wild edge steps, hopefully this helps you. Um, like I said, I was racking my brain all summer. I had my steps actually set up like this, but without the gripper. And I tried it on that hog hunt that you guys never saw because nothing happened and I couldn't make a video out of it but I tried it like that and the only issue the only real issue was when you got to your tree I had like my top strap looped around the steps and when you undo that all my steps just fell out so it's really tough to get up the tree and this is just like the perfect thing to keep them all in one spot keep it nice and tight and still be lightweight and it gives you some options for how do you how you want to hang it I mean you could hang it off of any, off of one of the sides. You could uh, put it on the back of your saddle. Like I said, you can have it in Versa hanger. What's a, another thing that's pretty cool is Wild Edge makes a platform that works in conjunction with these steps. And Genesis actually also came out with a, uh, a little clip for, that clips into that platform and acts as a Versa hanger, I think, for, for these steps. So you can have the whole system all in one place. This, the perch, which is the platform for these steps. You can have the steps and all. everything is all nice and tight together. Another thing, I'm pretty sure these, uh, all, this, all his 3D printed stuff is um, ABS plastic. So it's really strong. It's not like regular 3D printed stuff. That's I've heard some of that stuff's not very strong. This stuff is 
it's supposed to be super strong and I'll plug their the name again Genesis 3D printing even if you're not a saddle hunter maybe you like lock-ons and stuff they make a lot of stuff for sticks and platforms and all sorts of stuff and bow hangers they make really nice bow hangers and gear hangers off of trees and I probably have to get uh, before too much longer but yeah I just wanted to do a quick little review of a product that I'm pretty excited about so hope you guys enjoyed this video always remember to live life 25 feet high we'll see you next time